Whether you're a beginner or an advanced trader, this video will help you improve your trading. Each tip is not related to the other, so watch till the end. First tip is gonna be when we are looking to the area of interest, when we uh, want to enter our trade or when we want to exit our trade. So tip number one is watch for the longest wick. I'm gonna go through examples to show you what I mean. So for example, this is the Nasdaq and this is the one hour on the Nasdaq. Right here in this area. Our longest wick is this candle right here. So if we just put a line from this area and move it to the right, we're going to see that the market will react from the place with the longest wick right here. Again, what is our longest wick right here? It's this one. If we put a line from this area, we can put it from the wick of this area we can see how the market reacts exactly to this place. And this place could be a place where we can take our trade from, see a reaction from, or take profits from. It could be helpful in many ways. Let's keep going. So if we want to see in this area right here, where is that place with the longest wick? It's here. And this is where we're gonna expect to see the reaction from. Same if we go to another higher time frame. This is the longest wick right here. We can actually move it to the side like that and we can see where the market reacted from. Okay, so this is just makes it more specific and it works on any time frame. So right here, we can see how the market stayed below this area. So why didn't it stay below this area? Why didn't it stay below this area? It stayed below this one because this one has the highest wick. So this is explanatory. Why is this like that? Because probably the smart money and the commercials bought right here, sold right here in this case which means they need to come back to it and this is the place where we're gonna see if the market's gonna cross it or not so it's a place to look for a reaction but it's very specific and it could be on the lower time frame or on the higher time frame and it's the same on every pair it's not just here we can look at <clears throat> so many examples as well this is one of my charts that i trade and we can see here this is the highest wick and we came right to it and then we came down this is because jpp is actually very weak right now this is why we're seeing this reaction but we go to the chart in order to see the timing and the timing is where the market is gonna react from this is the place where the market is gonna react from the highest wicks the higher time frame the better if you have any questions about this let me know in the comments i will explain more tip number two is use limit orders for three reasons whenever you can use limit order reason number one it will help you avoid reacting and FOMOing in the trades. This is what the market wants us to do and intends us to do. This is why we lose money. So whenever you can use the limit order, you remove this reaction part. Reason number two is that when you have a limit order, it means that you have a plan. It means that you have a system that you are working with. At least I hope so. Reason number three is that you can actually put your limit order and leave. You don't have to sit in front of the charts and watch it. The more we analyze, the more mistakes we're going to make. Tip number three, look to your left. Let me show you what that means. I can give so many examples for this. Now I'm still in the JPP USD chart. So I'm going to look for something here. And as you can see, this is where we are going down and this is where we are going higher. When we reach this point, if we go to the replay mode right here, and when we reach this point, what do you want to see? If you are looking to buy, we don't want to see the market close below this. Why? Because this is going to hold price. We don't want the market to close below it. So if we held above it like this, it is the same exact formation. This is why look to your left and see if we are doing the same formation above it. This is great. We can take our trade, put our stop loss here. If it goes below it, we don't want to be in the market. Our target would be the tip number one I spoke about. And if we cannot see it on this time frame, we can either see it on the lower or we can see it on 
the higher time frame so just keep moving time frames until you can see it let's see as an example okay this is what i'm talking about look how the market reacted exactly to this this is not planned i just showed it in front of you let's take another example with a look to your left okay uh -huh. this is another example so look at this we have this area on the left and we want to go higher in order to go higher we made exactly the same formation one two three one two three we made it above it and then in order to go higher we need to hold this area we cannot go below it and as we can see we made another formation right here and then we went higher our target is also the same the highest wick which could be this one right here and then the market reacts so use these three tips if you found this valuable please subscribe and like the video and if you want a part two let me know in the comments and for now you can watch this video right here with one of my best strategies